So I'm working on the uh, Razor Dark Quad four wheeler again, and um, I just figured I'd show y'all what I'm doing right now. As soon as I finish, kind of give y'all an overview of everything. But right now, what I did was I bought because I want to be able to take the handle bars off pretty easily if I need to. So I bought some of these. Uh, the six position female interlock connector and then I bought a male one also and that's going to be on the wires for the handlebars so I'll be able to just unplug the because um, we've got the wire for the brake switch which cuts the motor off when you hit the brake and we've got the wire for the throttle and so I'm combining those into one plug uh, with six terminals because there's two wires for this and four for the throttle so we're going to put them all into one plug and that way we can just unplug and pull these out and if I need to isolate the uh, throttle from the brake at some point I could pull the connectors out of the plug if I had to but shouldn't have to but so here's what I've done put the wire in crimp it with the little crimpers uh, the inside one crimps the wire, the outside one crimps the uh, insulation, and then solder it. So that's how I've done all the plugs. I've got some of them in here. What this is right here, the red wire this right here is part of the switch, and the blue one's part of the switch. Um, the blue is a, um, a hot wire, so this is uh, basically inside of the control box it's connected with the wire the positive wire that comes from the battery and then the red wire would be the uh, energizing side of the uh, for the control box so when this red wire gets hot that you know it turns the power on so the um, I'll show you the this white wire on the throttle that is for the power LED on the throttle it's got a you know a power on and then max and mid and minimum you know those all light up and as the battery drains it goes from max to mid to minimum they all light up when it's at max and then you lose the max light then you lose the mid light and then just the minimum light will be on so all that needs to work is power on 36 volts and this red wire will provide it so this right here will go to the power switch and this will go to the power switch when you flip that on this will energize this red wire you see to turn the controller on and on the other side where it's plugged into here the white wire will be pinned out so it'll power the switch so just kind of a jump ring over to power the light. So we'll get the rest of these. The black and yellow in there is the brake light. I've already got those pinned into the plug. And we'll go ahead and pin these. Uh, and they just shove in there. And they've got these little shoulders. It keeps them from pulling back out. So we'll go ahead and put those in. And then we'll be ready to um, do the... Uh, male side this is the female side we'll do the male side of the switch or of the connector and uh, get those wires in all right i've got um got it pretty much ready to go um here's the little leftover wire this would have been to uh limit to medium speed i've got um so I just left that in the connector. Like I said, I wired up the connector here for the handlebars. You can see I've got all the wires pinned in it. This is for the brake and the um, the brake and the. It's got a brake switch that cuts the power to the motor when you hit the brakes. So that's for the brake switch and for the uh, throttle, and then the little LED on the throttle. And I jumpered over here for the hot wire out of that plug. So this is the, this will go to the switch. 
see. Okay. Pull this one out there. Now we've got okay, we've got plugs on here, and these plugs will go over to the power switch. It's right here. This the old one switched the whole controller, switched the main power feed, so it's got a pretty heavy duty switch on it. But this one just has a switch to power, and then the battery wire, you know, stays hooked up all the time. So that's for the switch. Here's my charger plug. I've got plugs on it. And coming off the battery, I've got plugs to plug in the charger cord. Here's my fuse holders. Between each battery, 30 amp fuse. Here's the other one, tying over to here. And then I've got my main battery feed here and there, feeding into the controller. Right there and there. With these uh, covered spade connectors. Here's my wires for reverse and brake. Coming over to a switch. I think that's forward, and then that would be reverse, limited to slow speed. So let's uh, jumper the power wire, and I'll show you. I've already, the other charger I had has the same plug on it, and I verified the pin out is right on the plug. Okay, so I've got power now. See my power LED lights up. And then when you pull the brake, you hear the motor stopped. Let go of the brake, the motor starts again. And then, so if you want to flip it to reverse, well, here, let me shift. Full speed. Flip it to reverse. Motor reverse, and it's on slow. So these things come with the wiring diagram. I'm not going to go into details on the wiring. But um, I'm going to probably tape up some of these wires and kind of tie wrap them and get them all bundled and all that. And then it'll be time to put the body back on. And I'm not going to paint it. Um, ready to get done with it. And I still got to put steering stops on it. So let me uh, get these bundled up and. Uh, Get, oh, and like I said, the uh, motor wire did not have to, nothing had to be done yet. It plugged in. So, I'm going to put some liquid electrical tape. I've got everything plugged up on the batteries. I'm going to put some liquid electrical tape over all this. I'm also going to put some around the grommets here where the wires go in just to help seal off this controller. Probably all around here. And uh, just to make sure no water gets in there if he splashes through some water. So, let me uh, get all that done and we'll see what it looks like with the body back on it. Alright, body is not bolted down. Just wanted to show one last clip of it, uh, all the wiring. And the batteries are strapped down. Um, see, I've kind of got everything bundled. Kind of. <laughs> Probably maybe bundle a little more. A couple more tie wraps. Get these uh, here tied down. Um, yeah, we'll do a little more bundling. And uh, there's one. 
these bundle and get all those bundled up and see I got liquid electrical tape on there and on the with wires coming out on the controller so we're, uh, coming along All right, body's just sitting on there, but I've got some very crude steering stops. I just took a nut, welded it. Boom, stops it. Same over there. There's slop in the steering, but you can see. Just barely clears same here well yeah. anyway we will um, get the body mounted on